Hey guys, this is update uh, 15 of the go-kart. Had some bad news today, my shaft snapped in half. Uh, my chain was too tight and the sprocket was a tiny bit offline because these bolts are a little bit too small. Uh, it's not in line, it's tight in some places, loose in others. And yeah, this whole thing snapped off, as you can tell. Got this here, and then it's, yeah, snapped. Good news is I'm doing the 3 horsepower engine now. I've rebuilt this from the 2.5 horsepower parts, the carby, the recoil, and the head gasket. And um, so I'll put this on there. Uh, my brother's getting the clutch for me tomorrow because the go-kart shop's on the way to his uni. So he's going to grab that for me tomorrow. So I have the clutch tomorrow. Um, finish school at 1.30 so I can do my work on it. Now that it's at home, I can work on to it and, yeah whatever time and night I want. Um, good news is I can put a three horsepower engine on this thing. I did do a little ride of it and that's how it snapped obviously. It went so fast. I was amazed. This thing can probably do 35, 40. Um, the speed of it is just amazing. Uh, obviously because it's so low to the ground it just feels a lot faster but I was only idling and this was going about 15 k's. It, it's God, all these people are saying he won't you won't even go. Um, I proved them wrong. Uh, how I got the wheels on? I did do the washer thing. Got a washer there, so that sits over this thing, so it doesn't actually hit the bearing. And then I got a washer on the other side. And then they got a big lock nut and tighten it as tight as I could. And that did the job. It um, goes really well. I can't push it because I got the oil draining out. Because I'm going to use this oil in this one because it's brand new oil in there. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a bit of a bummer, but I got a good engine on there now. Um, this one was shit. I, I took the head off and the state of it is just really bad. Uh, so yeah, that's the update today. Did ride it, it went. It's just the shaft snapped. Uh, tomorrow, I put the new clutch on this. Mount that engine on there, that's two seconds. Make sure the chain is um, good. Make sure that sprocket is fully aligned. Uh, and then make sure the chain's got enough slack. So you guys, just make sure your chain has enough slack, like this much. If it has that much, it's not good enough. It will snap your shaft. Because these lawnmowers, they're, they're made for lawnmowers. They're not made for go-karts. Go-karts create a lot of stress, the chain on the end. Lawnmowers, they, they don't need a lot of stress. Um, these, these shafts if you look at them they're just really bad quality they're, n they're not made for go-karts so you got to get it right otherwise it's just going to snap if you don't have enough chain um if your chain's not loose enough then it's just going to snap if your sprocket's not aligned it's just going to snap um simple as that obviously if your sprocket's not aligned that way it's just going to come off if it's not aligned that way it's going to snap so yeah um I'll have this running again tomorrow because I'll have that engine on there. I uh, just won't have the brakes on, but yeah, it's not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy because I get that three horsepower engine on there now. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm selling my 5.8 clutch if anyone wants to buy it. It's about 50 bucks. Uh, I can negotiate a price, just PM me. And I bought it for 65. Um, it's a brand new clutch, it has never been used basically. It's only been used for about five minutes, two minutes. And yeah, brand new Max Torque clutch. 5'8", uh, 11 tooth, I think. Uh, you can count it. i got no time left. I have to go now. But, yeah, that's the update for today, guys. See you later.